customer states trailer lights don't work. Can you check them out, Carl? Yeah, sure. We take a look at the plug and uh, yeah, see all that green stuff? I'm not surprised they don't work. This, uh, this, this one's not rocket appliances. So I get aggressive with my leads on the multimeter and uh, this one you just clean off with a wire brush, but inside there, that's pretty tough. Somebody's car alarm's going off. So with the turn signals on and the running lights on, key on, I scrape into that nastiness with my leads and we do have power and ground where they should be. But this is just gonna crust up again, so what are we gonna do? And yeah, maybe you got some uh, little files or something laying around. This is what I'm gonna do. Look at this, a gallon of evaporust. No scrubbing, reusable, easy soak, environmentally safe. Let's pour a little bit into our cup. There we go, that's more than enough. A little spare box laying around to hold it up. We'll go ahead and put this connector in the evaporust for, I don't know, overnight. Then we'll come back to it. All right, it's been about 15 minutes and you can see it is dissolving away all that nastiness. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot with my wire brush real quick. This one might be able to get into those prongs a little bit. This is the Falix Dremel tool and I buy different wire brushes. It's like an assortment you can buy on Amazon. Got them in my store. I'll show you the rest of them in a second. Ooh, with these wire brushes, you wanna go like speed two or three. That way it doesn't tear them up as much. You don't need that much RPMs. This has gone through some abuse. Way more satisfied with this than my last name brand one. It is a little bit larger. I also like to have the short micro one. You can get in some tight spots with that one. You can see it's looking much, much cleaner now. Let's go ahead and let it soak for some more time. Over here at the charging station, here's the battery charger that comes with the Fowax. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And this is, I buy these in a baggie. Like I said, they're in my Amazon store for easy reordering for myself and others. You got all different styles and yeah, I've used a bunch of these. I just throw them back in when I'm done using them. All right, you can see there's still a little bit of corrosion in there. I just sprayed it out with this electrical cleaner and then blew it out with this Rodex air blower. It's really handy. Like the longer you have it, the more uses you find for it. And that just kind of dries out the connector. If you look at the multimeter, we're just gonna put it in the ground and then we're gonna put the power on and I'm not scraping or anything. Now we have connectivity, uh, continuity. That's the right word. And then we've got our uh, turn signal on, so it should be flickering. Yep. So that's all it took was a little dip in this. If you want to go the full steps, uh, probably was soaking for a total of 45 minutes. I suggest leave it overnight, spray it out with electrical cleaner. And then right here we have dielectric grease. I always finish with dielectric grease. It'll keep that corrosion from coming back. I also have this awesome stuff. It's called Steel Camel. It's a corrosion inhibitor. It will actually break up oxidization as well. So I wanna just give a couple squirts in there of this stuff. It works great, actually. And then we'll just let it kind of fall out. But we want something that's gonna stay in there and prevent corrosion every time you plug in and plug out. So we'll take our Permatex Dielectric Grease this is and then we'll get a big old finger full there and just stuff it stuff it right up in there and wipe off the excess we'll put a little bit inside that ground and around that ground take our rag kind of just wipe off the excess dielectric grease now when he plugs this in, like I said, I'd love to leave it overnight, but he's ready to pick it up. Now when he plugs this in, his trailer lights will actually work. No problem with the wiring, fuses, 
ground, nothing. Just green corrosion inside there. Put the dielectric grease on. Always keep your cap on, and you won't have these problems. Catch you later.